Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Middleware Technologies. Today we will be looking at how we can install and configure Grafana open source software package using Ansible. So here in this video, we will try to install and configure Grafana using Ansible and we will try to update the default security settings that are uh, user uh, authentication settings using Ansible. So let us see like how we can uh, carry out this activity in this video. So here, like I'm currently working on Fedora 39 workstation with Ansible 2.16.2 installed on my local machine. So before going in uh, with the activity, like what, uh, let us try to understand what is Grafana. Grafana is basically a open source software package that uh, can be used to analyze and interact with the time series database. So basically it captures, like uh, it queries on the the data like that is the, the time series database uh, and it uh, visualizes and it can be used to visualize and al analyze on the time series database that we have captured from the application or system metrics so that is uh, in short about what grafana does for us grafana can also integrate with various uh, third party platforms uh, like uh, data sources uh, which provide provides the time series data so you can explore more about Grafana using the documentation, the default documentation that is provided by the Grafana software. Now let us try to uh, get into the details of our implementation. Like here, uh, let us try to look at the project structure first, like how we are going to install and configure Grafana. So for that, let us go into our shell and here is my project structure which we are going to uh, utilize for setting up Grafana. So here like I have the playbook Linux setup Grafana which will be uh, used to call the following roles. So here like we are using the following roles that is install Grafana, configure Grafana, start, start, stop, restart Grafana and we are also using the following role that is expose grafana which is used to expose the default uh, grafana instance port so we will try to get into the details of all these roles uh, in order to implement our grafana so let me clear my screen and go into my documentation so uh, so as a first step like we are going to install grafana so for that, let, let us try to open this code or uh, the project in Visual Studio code. And here, like we will try to understand about each and every role that we are going to run. So as a first step, let us try to look at the playbook. So this is the playbook that I mentioned, like we are going to use in order to execute all the roles so we'll go through this all the roles one by one that is install configure restart stop start and expose so let us try to go into the ro role install grafana wherein like what we are going to do is we are going to add the repository and then we are going to install the grafana open source software package and we are setting the base URL and GPG key which are required in order to inst uh, accept the uh, the key before we are allowed to install the Grafana package. So these uh, variables we are setting it in the following defaults wherein we have set the Grafana install repository and we have set the Grafana install GPG key. And those two variables or attributes we are using over here in the task so this is in short about what we are doing with the installation of the grafana now let us go into the configure grafana section wherein let me go into the main section uh, of the task wherein we are going to update the grafana config file so this is the template that we are going to upload into the following destination and the destination wherein the default Grafana uh, configuration file is present is etc grafana grafana.ini and etc grafana is being referred by the 
Grafana config directory which we have set in this defaults. So if you go into the defaults, the Grafana config directory is etc Grafana and the Grafana config template is grafana.ini which is the default configuration file. And we have set some of these uh, variables also, uh, default variables we can say, which will update the settings in the grafana.ini file. So let us try to go into the uh, grafana.ini file wherein if you look at the security settings, so this is the security settings which we are trying to update using the Ansible uh, playbook. So here like I have updated the admin user, admin password and the admin email so that like we are not uh, starting up the Grafana instance with the default uh, settings that is the default user and password settings. So this is what we, like we are going to do uh, in this video wherein we will be updating the default configuration of the Grafana instance. So you can see like we are updating uh, uh, the template uh, at the following destination with the the customized uh, configuration file. For now like you can ignore this uh, settings which is uh, basically used to uh, update the, uh, the data source for Grafana to capture the metrics. Now let us go into the other roles that is start which is basically used to start up the Grafana service that is name Grafana-server and similarly like we have Grafana server service that we want to stop and here like we have the restart role which basically is used to restart the Grafana server in case we are updating the Grafana configuration. And the last one that we want to look at is expose. So here like we are setting the Grafana instance port that is 3000, the default 3000 port. But if you want you can update it over here. And in the tasks like what we are doing is we are updating the firewall settings uh, with that uh, Grafana HTTP port that is 3000 we are enabling it permanently on the default zone and then we are restarting the Grafana uh, then we are restarting the firewall service there is one more important thing that I wanted to mention over here the Grafana configuration file is a .ini file and everything in that file is either uh, commented using the following uh, semicolon so in case you want to uh, like activate this settings you can just remove this comment and this is going to activate the the setting of for that field so this is how like you can update the configuration for grafana using the grafana.ini file so now we have looked at all the rules that we are going to use in order to basically install and conf configure the Grafana. So now let us look at our readme instructions wherein like these are the instructions that we are going to use in order to execute the playbook. So if you are passing this tag information so it is going to execute only that specific task in that playbook. If we are not passing this tag information like it is going to execute all the roles in that uh, all the roles in that playbook one by one in the sequential order that we have mentioned over here so right now like what i'm going to do is i'm just uh, going to comment out the start stop so that we just restart the grafana service when it is installed and we are going to expose the grafana port so let us see like how we can execute this in this video so let me now go into my shell, clear my screen and uh, like we are managing the remote machine. So let me first start up the remote machine that is FedOS. 
now let us try to log in into our remote machine so this machine is now actually not ssh enabled basically like we need to provide the password so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to update the vi sudo and uh, go to no pass i'm just going to enable this one the settings so that we don't need password to log in now let me just get out of my machine and try to log in again and I also need to copy my public key so I'll do ssh copy id minus i to my machine that is remote machine we are going to manage okay so now we have copied my uh, public key if we now go and log in it should be without password okay so now we are able to like ssh onto our uh, virtual machine that is we are going to manage remotely uh, using ssh without any password so we have enabled the passwordless authentication for our machine so this is basically in order to set up your ansible that you can take care uh, uh, that we assume like we have already set it up now let us try to go into our grafana readme instructions and try to run the following command which basically executes our playbook so here we are going to execute our playbook linux setup grafana on the following hosts that is inventory.host which is basically my remote machine that i have mentioned already okay so now let us try to execute it let us give it some time so that it installs the grafana package now like uh, we can see like our uh, playbook has been uh, like executed successfully so if you can go and look, uh, look at the task so it is the ping pong task that is basically to validate the ssh connectivity with the remote machine then it has added the repository that is grafana repository and we have installed the grafana package that is grafana oss package from that repository once that is done like we have updated the default grafana.ini configuration file uh, by updating the security settings for the user and we have up uploaded that new customized configuration file once that is done we are ensuring that the grafana service is restarted so it basically starts up the service if it is dead or stopped then we are exposing the grafana uh, instance port that is the default 3000 port like you can update it to any different port whichever you want to expose and once that is done we are restarting the firewall service now let us go into our remote machine and here like you can see the grafana server service is up and running that is started the grafana service and if you go into the details like this is listening on the http server listen address 3000 port and we can also look at the firewall settings which we have updated
I need to run that with sudo. So here you can see like our ports which we are exposing is 3000 slash TCP. So this is where uh, it allow, uh, uh, allows us to access the Grafana instance remotely. Now that our Grafana instance is up and running, we can just go to our browser and try to access our Grafana instance on 3000 port. So Fedress dot stack dot com is the remote machine that uh, wherein we have installed grafana using ansible and we have ex exposed the 3000 port so that we can access uh, that grafana instance remotely so now let us try to access it the default grafana instance comes with user admin and password admin so if you are going to use that we are not able to log in we are not going to able to log in because we have updated the default security settings so right now the password that we have set is so let me go into my templates uh, so if this is the password that i have set so this is very uh, this is also a insecure way of exposing your password in the configuration file configuration file but this can be uh, like mitigated using uh, some kind of a vault uh, database that you can uh, configure and use uh, within the Ansible setup. Now let us go into the browser and try to access our Grafana instance using the updated password. So now you can see like we are able to log in into the Grafana instance and currently like there are no data sources configured here like uh, in our next video like we will try to see like how we can configure uh, this data source using the yaml definition file like basically like uh, we are going to configure the prometheus uh, instance uh, prometheus data source which actually uh, scrapes the the metrics data from the fluent bit instance so we will try to see like how that uh, can be done in our next video i hope you enjoyed watching this video thank you all thanks for watching this video and you guys have a great day.